finishing move in. He went, you're right, brother, you're right. <laughs> That's just the way the guys are wired, because they, they love doing what they do. So. I don't mean that more, I mean that the somewhat inspiration. Uh, All right. My eyes are the question. The question was, the question was uh, during that match in 98, how much of it was actually in, and how much of it did you improv? I have to leave that up to your imagination. I can't <laughs> tell you that the cell itself displayed great improvisational skills, yet yeah, by collapsing when we weren't on expecting it. So anything from that point on was clearly just us trying to pick up the pieces. Okay? How are you doing? Um, How are you doing? I saw you a while back at the Fort Lauderdale when you came down. A while back. Um, I thank you guys for coming to my mom passed from cancer last year. I'm sorry. And I can't get that. <laughs> Um, I used to work in a business with Teddy Long. I worked at a company for a while, six years. Um, worked with a lot of the guys that you work with. Teddy's my favorite, so. He wanted, he was going to try to come down, but he said hi, by the way. Teddy Long? Yeah. I worked on like three shows with him. Um, but I want to know, like, I think, uh, I'm doing DDP yoga now, too. I sprained my, uh, right hand on the and Achilles tendon when I started it. How has it, like, changed you? Like, what is it really like? Between all the injuries, how old were you, like, weighing at? And, like, um, what are you doing now currently? Because I remember you were a big guy. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, seven months ago, I was 338, and now I'm 268, so. Wow. Uh, and, uh, it's really good. I, I look at some of those programs, and I know they would work if you were already a really good athlete to begin with. But I look at some of those things and go, oh, that's a torque rotator cuff. You know, they just pull the groin muscle. And uh, DDP's, the uh, uh, DDP yoga is the best program that I could see or I've ever seen that can work around so much weaknesses and allow you to uh, modify and not hurt the program. And it's all about getting your heart rate into a certain you know, rate where you're burning fat. Uh, you gotta kind of swallow your pride, especially when I go to the gym and I've been swimming in water aerobics. I said this on Stone Cold podcast, you know, even though I'm not, I was never a big, you know, weight type of guy, but still you're a wrestler, you show up at a gym, people are expecting to see you in the weight room. And then 20 minutes later, where is he? Like, where is he? And they look in the pool and there I'm going like, bang! <laughs> <laughs> the DVD stuff. But it's been really helpful. And you can't even tell that I'm doing this, right? How many, how many people have been at my table today? How many people are planning to visit my table today? How many people should go up right now? Yeah. Heather has been with me at many conventions, right? And she would help me out on my shows, and she's really invaluable on my shows. And she can attest that I usually sit down, and I do not get up at all. It's always really painful. Yeah, she's now I made a point. You get up for almost every photo. And my job, I'm actually doing the yoga that I get to do. I'm engaging all the muscles, <laughs> tightening my butt cheeks, inner thighs, thighs, and all that stuff. So I'm actually getting like little exercise in each time I stand up. And you couldn't really do that with the other programs you know, that require all the, you know, the crazy movements. So it's been really, I can't, it's been really, really helpful to me. I recommend it to anybody, especially anybody who's got to try to work around their physical limitations. You know? So uh, I don't want to say too much about the guy who's on a personal level. I don't like him. <laughs> he's, a, oh, he's a great guy, and I'm really happy for him. And any of the good things that come his way are, are well deserved because he went way out there on a limb and worked really hard on something because he believed in it and because he genuinely wants to help other people.